Hello everyone, this is Impulse, and welcome back to the Hermitcraft server. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing great, guys. I'm doing great. I know, I know, you guys have a question. I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> so let's ask it. Let's just get right to business and ask the question that you guys want to ask. I know what it is. I already know what it is. We're going to ask Jarvis, though. Maybe he knows the answer. Impulse. Where have you been? Where have the Hermitcraft episodes been in the past couple weeks? Where have they been? Let's see if he knows. Does Jarvis know? Come on, Jarvis. He's thinking about it. He's thinking. He knows the answer. I know he knows it. Let's see what he thinks. Come on now. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't know the answer. Oh, there it is. Okay. They've been in the Brown District. That's where they've been, guys. The Hermitcraft episodes have been in the Brown District this whole time. <laughs> oh no, seriously, guys, seriously. Uh, yeah, yeah. You probably did notice it's it's been a few weeks since I posted a Hermitcraft video, and I don't have great excuse for it. I mean, I I guess I do. I have the ultimate excuse. Life happens, guys. Life happens. Personal life got in the way. Got in the way. Had to prioritize some personal life things. Over making videos, most of you know. This isn't my job. This isn't my job. It's it's a hobby of mine. So when other things come up in my life, unfortunately, sometimes making episodes here on the Hermitcraft server take take a back seat. And uh, luckily, it doesn't happen too often. This is one of those times it did. And hopefully, that patch in my real life is over, and we can get back on track making episodes and all that kind of stuff. But you can see, look, I have I've been doing stuff. I've been doing stuff. Look around. It's clean and in here. It's nice and clean. I don't have a real bedroom anymore, but uh, I've put away the shulker boxes and organized my system and things like that. Um, so, yeah. Also, also, I've I've uh, met up with somebody. I don't want to look outside in case. Okay, so there's already spoilers. I have met up with somebody on the server here to go over a little bit of a project or two. And... I'm going to go ahead and play that clip now for you so you can see what that's all about before I give away too many spoilers. So check this out. Hey, hey, Scar, how you doing, man? I'm pretty good, and it's a very nice day out on here on the Hermitcraft server. It was raining, pouring, but it has opened up clear blue skies for our flight over to your house. Yeah, it's like the, the clouds parted just for us, it felt like. <laughs> I believe it did. Oh, man. So you are ready to start on a project, I believe. I believe I put in an order a while ago for some work. Yeah, it was a, I wouldn't say a while. Well, yeah, it was a while ago. <laughs> You're right, throw you under the bus straight away. It's been like three months, man. Where you been? <laughs> no, yeah, so I'm looking at your book. Um, so you're tired of the Mesa. You want to see a modern, beautiful, um, you know, landscape around your base, you know, some lawns, some driveways mm -hmm. and things. And yeah, yeah. at earliest yeah. convenience. Earliest. There no. you go. See, I opened it up for you. This is your earliest convenience. It's all good. <laughs> uh, do, do you want to fly over there and take a look at this place? Yeah, let me show you what you have to deal with here. And all right. uh, I got a little Tony Stark Iron Man inspired mansion over here. Oh, and you're going to want to go through this little waterfall. This is how you get in. Oh, my gosh. I kind of, I kind of bumped my head on it. You, you were much more graceful than I am. <laughs> oh man, I love this entrance. I love this. Oh. You got the whole superhero vibe going here. I love it. Yep, yep. I got my my logo. It's uh, definitely superhero esque. <laughs> so this is the inside of my mansion. Not much to look at here. I've uh -huh. been neglecting it uh, way too much. But I uh, got my little guardians here. And oh, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> oh, is that the back of a shulker box? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's uh, really cool. That was one of my one of my secret Santa gifts from Cub Fan. <laughs> Pretty oh, cool I forgot looking. they had that cool pattern on the back. That's really cool. That's definitely mm -hmm. useful for things. Yeah, so this is yeah. awesome in here. Very, very cool. Thanks. Yeah, this is my, just my storage room. I got a furnace array. I need to I need to do a lot more in here. I got shulker boxes everywhere that I need to put away. Oh, I am I am a hoarder. Uh, so <laughs> shulker the addition of shulker boxes was a real bad thing for me. Like now I just put random items in shulker boxes and never actually put them away where they belong. I, I <laughs> so, love how you're creating furniture out of your shulker boxes. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> just invite somebody um, over to watch some TV. It's like, ah, pull up a shulker box. Yep, exactly. <laughs> so if we go upstairs here, this is the, the main floor. It's basically just an open balcony. But the real tragedy is when you walk out these doors. Needs this, some loving. 
needs some love. And I'm not even like connected to any decent path or anything. I'm just kind of separated by an ugly Mesa. Yeah, yeah. I, I just yeah, I just realized you don't actually have any pathways leading to your, mm -hmm. your place. No. Okay. Hmm. I, I'm, not, I'm not one for like doing my own paths. I was just kind of hoping somebody would come along and do it, but <laughs> that <never laughs> happened. So. <laughs> so that's why I put the order in because this kind of modern, fancy, you know, Hollywood style mansion, it uh, I think it needs a surrounding landscaping that sort of matches the the vibe, right? Oh, definitely. So I'm thinking, just looking at this, maybe some like retaining walls a little bit on the side. I might have to go to the mm -hmm. Nether for this, um, and then build up some, you know, lawns across here. Now, are you a fan of the hardened clay lawns? That's a, that's a question. Some people aren't. Some people are. It's a, like a you, yeah. So I you do know, like a dark stripe of hardened clay of the green variety, mm -hmm. and then a light stripe of the um, the lime green, and you create a lawn, or you could do it in just like a single like dark. Um, pattern of it so that's what I was thinking maybe get some of that going on here and maybe a, a okay. like a, a gray clay kind of as a nice oh no we have concrete blocks now oh that's right we are in the snapshot so we can we got a lot oh you got even more choices oh I don't uh, even know what I would use for a driveway yet I'll have to do some testing on that <laughs> but, uh, but yeah you mentioned you were thinking maybe a circular driveway and uh, maybe get some cars up on here yeah, you know, I'm supposed to be this rich millionaire dude. I, I'm going to have a few cars to, to park, so maybe a little little driveway with the circular thing around a fountain or something cool. I don't know, man. I'll leave it up to you. Uh, you got you probably have much better ideas than I do. Uh, but, yeah, something like that. Something like yeah, that fountain cool. sounds good. Now, the cars, if I were to make you a car, it would be like a clown car, and it would be an embarrassment. So I think there's probably some other people on the server that might be – a little bit better at that. that we yeah, know. yeah, potentially. Yeah, clown car is probably not the style <laughs> I'm going for. So I, I don't mind hiring out some more work. In fact, I have some interior work that I might want to get done. I know there's somebody else on the server that is uh, pretty good with that kind of stuff. She lives over that way in the uh, squid. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's fine. No cars. I won't make you do that. <laughs> this horse can go. Is this, yeah, I was about to say, is this, is this the <laughs> structure over here? No, you can, this horse can move. I just, I had him for some reason, and I didn't know what to do with him, so I kind of just left him out here. But <laughs> he can, all right, and he, then he over on somewhere this, else, over on this little spot, this is all still yours, right next to the uh, the abandoned house over here, like this yeah. section, like right here. Um, and then there's some more land down here. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now you want to be careful when working in this area, though, because if you if you go inside this house for any reason, it's kind of haunted. So I don't oh, know if you've you got knew a that. haunted house over here. Yeah. Well, this was XB's house, and he's uh -huh. been gone for a long time. And I think I think <gasps> he's got some uninvited house guests in there. Um, <laughs> he's got a squatter. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a squatter. Oh. And so you might not want to go in there or else it might wreck your day. Just 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 no. a heads up on that. <laughs> so you think you're thinking maybe like a six six block high fence across here at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's just let's just block that guy off so I don't have to worry about him. <laughs> oh. So yeah, I mean you got a lot lot of room to work with. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give you any restrictions. I want you to feel free to do whatever you see fit. And uh, I'm curious to see what you come up with, man. I know I know you're a very talented builder. Are you a fan of the spruce leaves or birch leaves? I would assume maybe not the oak leaves in the mesa, especially for this style build. Yeah, let's see. Let me let me take a look. What's nearby? These are well, th those are uh, those these, are those are like pines. Like so these these are oh these are these are birch. So here and then, of mm. course, like a spruce is like a real dark green. Um, oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think we keep it. Uh, keep it lighter these are okay if you can make it look like they okay belong yeah. in a, a modern hollywood style you know mansion area yeah and it was, yeah and then yeah, i would assume yeah no no oak uh maybe if we were to do like a natural like area kind of off to the sides but then once you get up to the house that's where it's all you know fancy modern and manicured and all those things mm -hmm. okay all right that works uh, i have no idea what you're talking about but that no. <laughs> sounds awesome man sounds awesome now speaking of leaves uh oh, I have this other book, and you got uh, this book. was a wonderful book that I got from a Secret Santa by mm -hmm. the name of Impulse SV. Yeah, not and... so secretive, was I? <laughs> <laughs> no, I put my name in there too for the Secret oh, okay. Santa. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's see. It says in this book that it entitles me to a redstone job or redstone yeah. knowledge, 
which I wish right. I could extract the redstone knowledge it's just right out of the brain, me. but yeah. I'll, 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 I'll leave it. I'll leave it. it. <laughs> because I think even if I had the knowledge, I would somehow goof it up. But what I need is potentially, if you if you want to, um, a sorter system for my leaf farm. So okay. something that sorts out the the leaves. So if I get you know some oak or some spruce or some birch, and it gets like sorted out into in a chest, um, I have pretty much everything built except for that part. Well, you, <laughs> my friend, you came to the right guy because I actually invented an item sorter. A uh, long time ago that has this overflow protection and all that stuff. I'm sure you're going to want all those fancy features. So, yeah, I kind of know how to do those. So I could, I could bust one of those out for you. No problem. Just show me where and and we could take care of that. No biggie. Awesome. Yes. I'll, I'll have to show it to you because it's, it's, it's a little difficult to get to. Okay. No problem. I got, I got an elytra and rockets. We can get to anywhere now. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm so excited to start the landscape. I think we're going to do something really cool over here. Me too. Me too. I can't wait to see it when it's finished. I'm, I'm not, I have no idea how long this is going to take you, but it would take me ages if I tackled it. Yeah, I, I need to do some testing. Need to do some some testing, get some colors going, and then I'll then, then once once we get there, it'll be good. I, I this I don't think this will be a Ren project uh, lengthwise, but I think it'll be it'll definitely be fun. Working modern stuff again. I haven't done it in a year, so I'm excited. Sweet, sweet. Can't wait. All, All right, right, man. Let's get to it. <laughs> I'll be off to my creative oh. world. All right, have fun, man. So there you go, guys. Scar is going to get started on my landscaping. Make sure you guys subscribe to Scar. He is an amazing builder, and you don't want to miss him building up the area surrounding my base. It's going to be epic. I know it will be. And meanwhile, he showed me what project he needed done, and it's down here. This is where he does his landscaping services, but he's got a secret little area uh, where he's able to get leaves uh, for different types of trees and he basically needs a sorting system which of course is not a problem so here it is right here here's where he cuts down the trees and collects the leaves and I think I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do a couple just so that I have items for the sorter to filter on uh, so we'll might have to cut that down but anyway it's basically just a floor of hoppers here that are collecting everything that falls when he cuts them down and oh I just realized I will need uh, shears for that I brought some iron blocks so this will be okay and he dug out an area so he wants the items to basically go down under here and you can see all the hoppers point to this hopper I may move that over I think we need one two three four and then I don't have jungle so five plus uh, an overflow so anything that he might accidentally drop on this floor or you know any any of the wood or anything like that can go to a, like an overflow chest so basically gonna do a little item sorter here for him I think I brought everything I need I have my shulker box of redstone goods right here and I think hopefully I have everything so I'm gonna go ahead and build this up you guys have seen sorting systems a plenty so I'll get this built out for him and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done all right there we go job is now done you can see I've got the five different types of leaves hopefully I got them all and also I noticed he was collecting vines with the uh, jungle tree that was grown so I put a filter in there for those as well the very end here is just random stuff as so as he's chopping down trees if wood or saplings or anything else falls in here uh, including you know if he was to accidentally drop his axe or something on the on the floor there it's not gonna get destroyed or anything like that or go somewhere he can't find it uh, we'll all go into here and so basic filter system you guys have seen this before I have a tutorial on my channel of course anytime I do one of these in one of these episodes I will put the link in the description in case you guys want to find out how to do this for yourself but it's pretty self-explanatory all the items are gonna flow into this hopper here the way he's got them laid out and from there we start to carry them over one by one it's gonna check to see if it can go in the hopper below the only way it's gonna go in there is if it's either a fish named filter blocker which is probably not gonna happen or if it's a jungle leaf for this uh, occasion here it'll fall through and because it's going to now go to 42 items the signal will go one more block there which turns off this torch basically this turns on turns off the torch allowing the hoppers to let one more item through and basically that just carries on uh, all the way uh, a lot of people question why there's 41 and because that seems like a lot but yes it is but this is to allow to make sure there's no overflow happening so basically you know if I was to put uh, say you know more of these 
filter blocks in here. And then I put 64 of, of these items here. The signal was would then kind of go down and cross over to the block next to it or to the layer next to it. And that would allow its filter to, to get emptied. And we don't want that. That's that's <laughs> We do not want that. So this layout here is going to make sure that even if there's 64 oak leaves, that that signal will not cross over into the tile next to it and breaking the filter. So if this thing was to fill up with items, basically it will be just fine. They'll continue forward and uh, uh, they can back all the way up and nothing will break, basically. So anyway, yes, so we got, uh, what do we got? Oak leaves here, acacia, birch leaves, spruce leaves, and then finally the vines, which there wasn't very many vines, but uh, so he'll have to get, you know, however many is left, 26 to, to fill this up, and then they'll start coming through. And then basically no filter on the last one. This is just any items that are left over will come through here, and he is good to go. Hopefully it's lit up well enough. Do I have some torches? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll throw down a torch back here just to be safe. But yeah, nothing to spawn up here on redstone, which is good, and I guess the hoppers is probably fine. Up here, yeah, yeah. These are stairs up here, so maybe on top of this. I don't know. I don't know. I figure he can, uh, he can do that. But let's just do this. Yeah, yeah. Let's be, let's be courteous and get him some. Make sure this is well lit around here, so he doesn't have any unwanted surprises. I can't jump that high, so it's going there. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. I, I kind of did at least a little bit of an outline of it. And oh, he's of course free to convert that to whatever he wants. I just kind of looking around in here and noticed that he had a lot of uh, oak going on. So I figured I would just stick with that and he is ready to go. So Scar, if you're watching, job is complete, man. Feel free to use it, of course, and it's good to go. We're, we're all set. So it was a, a pleasure doing business with you. Actually, this was a gift. <laughs> That's right. He doesn't owe me anything. This was a secret Santa gift, uh, but I can't wait to see what he comes up with. And that means, of course, I'm, I contracted him to do work at my place, uh, so I'm going to have to pay him. <laughs> we weren't working in trade here, as that was a gift. So I'll have to pay him for his job when it's done. Of course, guys, again, make sure you are uh, subscribed and checking his channel for when he posts a video on that getting done, because it's going to be awesome to see. I don't know if he's going to time lapse it or what, but I'm excited to see what he does with it. Okay, so what's next, guys? What's next? I was in the area here of iBooks. And I actually did stock some beacons in there. I had, I can't remember how many I had. I only had like five or so when I ended the uh, the episode before last. Those sold out, which was good to see. So I made some diamonds off of that. Um, I sold a few more books. And so I was able to make some progress on building this beacon out. Since then, the concrete blocks have come out. And I'm wondering if maybe I can do something with concrete blocks instead of the diamonds. I got... Quite a few comments. <laughs> you guys didn't seem happy that I was building this out of diamond blocks. Um, you know, I thought I thought it would be cool. I thought it would be cool, but I, I don't know why you guys didn't like the idea of wasting diamonds for decoration purposes. Plus the fact it did make me go broke with with diamonds, which I, I'm okay with. I can I can be broke for a while. Uh, but anyway, I may check out the new concrete blocks to see if there's a better texture now now that we've got those. Before I, I did test with a lot of the other blocks to see if I could use something other than diamonds and I never could find anything that I liked. Um, so here we go. Books that way, beacons that way. You guys remember this store? Uh, let's see if anybody's bought any since I've restocked. Nope. Uh, you can see here I've restocked with 11 beacons and I guess nobody's been back to the store. Uh, I need to just let the hermits know I guess that we got those available. They probably didn't, didn't know. They probably thought they were still sold out but yeah. Uh, done some AFK at the, the Wither Skelly Farm and got those going. And we also got a lot of mending books stocked up too. So I don't know, any hermits watching got mending, silk touch, uh, only one on breaking three. So yeah, I still got some work to do to stock this thing up. Actually, let's check. I think I took a bunch out of the clearance as well. Yeah, so we've been selling books again, which is nice. And I just, as we sell them, convert the diamonds to blocks and put them in the, uh, the beacon pyramid. Actually, didn't, I didn't really show how much of that we had left here. Let's go around back. Uh, I am gonna need some diamonds though to pay Scar probably, unless we unless we pay him with something else. That might be interesting to see uh, if he even wants diamonds. He may want something else. But yeah, started on the back here. Uh, so I think last time we maybe finished this up. So I got a few more on the back here uh, to go, and then and then on this side as well. This side's like completely empty for the most part. So yeah, we got it quite a bit to go on this. But yeah, anyway, guys, if you think you have a better design that doesn't use diamond blocks. Tweet me. 
uh, uh, do it in creative or whatever, or take a screenshot, tweet it, tweet it to me. Uh, my Twitter is at ImpulseSV, just like the YouTube channel. So go ahead and tweet me, guys. I'd love to see if you guys had something something better. And I'll go ahead and if, I, if I, you got something I like, I will uh, I'll tear it down, tear all my diamonds down and put them back in my pocket and save them for, for other things. And I'll use your design and give you a shout out. So, yeah, I appreciate seeing what you guys come up with. But anyway, there's something else I need to do other than eat. <laughs> I need to hire an interior decorator. So Scar was doing the exterior of my mansion. Now it's time I go hire the interior done. Yes, guys, I'm being lazy. I'm not a builder. <laughs> I mean, yes, I built the mansion, but I, I don't know, especially the landscaping stuff and interior design, not my forte. Not my forte. So let's just hire that out and have somebody that has, you know, great builder skills take care of it and see what they come up with. So all right, I'm gonna find I'm gonna find a shop around here that's gonna give me what I want. Give me a second, I'll be right back. All right. Did y'all have a good face palm there? Everybody enjoy it? Did you enjoy the face palm? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, look behind me. <laughs> Build for hire right here. This is False's build for hire shop, if I am not mistaken. Wow. <laughs> I didn't have to go far, did I? Oh, anyway, let's go down here and put in our order. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, I know I'm hiring the right person. She's going to do a fabulous job. Finally time to get the inside of my mansion looking good. Let's see here. It says contact false to discuss details. I will definitely do that. My phone's going off. Ignore that. Want a new snazzy design. Looking for a new exterior slash interior. Well, yes, I am. You've come to the right place. Leave your order below. All right. Let's go ahead and grab one of these book and quills and let's get it filled out. All right, got it filled out. False, I am looking for some interior design on my base, the Tony Stark and Iron Man inspired mansion. Of course, she knows where my base is, I'm sure, but just to be sure. What I'm looking for is something the resembles, okay, typos. Here's, okay, books, come on, let me edit. <laughs> oh, I don't feel like backspacing. She knows what I'm talking about. That resembles the mansion scene in the Iron Man movies. Here's some ideas I have. Turn page. Grand piano. So, yeah, I'm thinking totally grand piano, top floor of the mansion. I think there's a space for it. Iron Man suits on display. So around, like, the edges of the rooms or something, some Iron Man suits, you know, basically armor stands, you know, kind of looking cool. Uh, I know she can do a good job with that. And then there's a big open space. Maybe, I don't know if possibly she could fill it with some sort of entertainment area. Maybe a bar or just like a big uh, big screen TV with some couches for watching. Basically just trying to fill up the open space on the, uh, the first floor. Or I guess the basement or whatever you would call it as you go into my base. So hopefully she's got some ideas there because, um, anyway, I'll keep reading the book. <laughs> Any ideas you have are more than welcome. Feel free to create rooms as needed since it's an open space currently. Yeah. So she may need to build up some walls and stuff to make things fit or look right. Um, I don't know. Uh, well, she can do whatever she wants. I, I don't plan on building any more like machines or anything in there for now. Um, and even if she does fill stuff with space, I'll, I can work around it. So, um, Anything. Basically, I'm game for anything, false, if you're listening. So, looking forward to what you come up with. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, Impulse. All right, let's go ahead and sign this guy, typo and all. Um, uh, let's see. Need help. Because <laughs> I do. Yeah. All right, let's see. So, I guess we leave it here. We just pop it right back in there. And since I've signed it, she can see that she's got a real order. Of course, I will let her know, you know, on uh, whatever, Discord or Skype or wherever I can find her, uh, that I put it in order so she knows about it. And that way, if she has questions, we can talk about it there. But anyway, hopefully we will get that done as well. So that means that my base will uh, soon enough be pretty far along, guys. We'll have the exterior done and hopefully soon the interior done. And I'll be able to kind of wrap it up so that my base is nice and complete. And we'll move on to some other stuff. So, all right, guys. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for sticking around. I know going so long in between episodes is not good. It's not good. Bad YouTuber. Bad YouTuber. <laughs> but I do appreciate you guys having the patience with me and sticking around. Really do. Really do. Thank you so much, guys.
And if you did like this video, now that we're getting back in the swing of things, please hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Make sure you subscribe before you go. With that said, I'll see you guys again next time. Have a good one, everyone. Thank you.